The thing I'm excited about the most is the technology that someone just mentioned that hasn't really got into the approval realms yet, and it's the cell and gene therapy. Um, you know, one of our founders at Stride was Arvin Asikin, um, who was at Duke, and his lab right now is working on some tremendous modalities that I think really that type of thing is going to become the wave of the future for medicine. And uh, it hasn't really hit the mainstream yet. I think if, if I think about the industry, we, you know, we've, we've talked a lot about new molecules, getting more new molecules, getting things in the pipeline. But I think there's a lot of opportunity and transformational things that need to be done on the backside. What can we do to shorten the time to get it to, to the market? What can we do to make it uh, easier for patients to get this regionally? Um, how can we respond to changes uh, in a different way from the manufacturing side? Um, we think that not everybody's going to be able to make big plants, and we think that there's going to be a need for modular uh, opportunities to have uh, agile ways of bringing things in much quicker to market. And it's not just Fujifilm, although we're really interested in doing that as a partner, but we think some of our other companies that we work with are also talking about the same way. Some of the major pharmaceutical companies they're all talking about it and how can we do this together as partners in the industry um, and make this timeline shorter and make it so we can bring drugs and molecules in much quicker. From the university side, I'm excited about the partnerships we're creating with the industry. Uh, we do something called Industry Nights in which, in which we bring in different companies in the industry to be with our students uh, to learn about what their, what their company's all about, talk about the, the opportunities for advancement of their companies. I'm excited about that. I'm also excited about the, the educational things we're doing with K-12 folks to talk about life sciences in North Carolina. So we get, it's got to start early. And I, I think that will pay us big dividends with getting employees, getting employees for the companies that, that, that need employees down the road, and you're getting kids excited about the life sciences industry in North Carolina is important through all of North Carolina. Because if you look at, we haven't even talked about marine biology and what's happening out there. <clears throat> On the, on the coast, and we haven't talked about what's on the agricultural side, what's happening with natural products out in Nashville and that whole area. And I think the transformation that is going to be very exciting in this state, if you take that corridor as you were describing it earlier, it's going to be pretty profound. You see what's happening in Hanover County uh, around the sale of their medical system. You've got what's happening in Charlotte with Pearl and the development there. You have what happened to the, when, when at Nashville, they bought out Mission, Mission Hospitals. We're gonna see some profound development that's gonna address the point you made, that's gonna bring all sorts of different opportunities into other rural areas. And I think that's gonna be very exciting for the state. I'm particularly excited to see the advancement of clean tech and clean technology. Uh, I really view clean tech as preventative maintenance for human beings. Um, let's try to address a lot of these environmental issues before they start impacting us personally. Um, and you know, from my vantage point, I get exposed to not only what we do at Plant Switch, but you know, a lot of other really exciting technologies and you know, ways to replace um, polluting materials with you know, green and bio-based materials. Um, and I think we're about to see an inflection point of the scaling of a lot of that technology. Um, if you look at most major corporate commitments, they typically have timelines of 2025 to 2030, and there needs to be a pretty massive scale up in the supply chain in order to help them honor those commitments. And I think we're starting to see the beginning of that, and we're about to see that come in full force. And I think that that's going to be a really exciting thing for not just you know the industry, but the world as a whole. What we get to see right now with some of the programs is, and that is people at all stages of their career finding a career in life sciences in North Carolina. And it's people in high school who just graduated, who are getting through programs, people who finished a two-year degree, four-year degree, advanced degrees. And, and I think there's opportunities in life sciences across our state, not just here, but across the state. We are very pleased to see the growth that we've uh, we've recruited companies to areas that traditionally didn't get the manufacturing, and uh, but we'd also like to continue to look for things like R and D. So those are the things we look at. So get excited about growth too, like Doug. Um, maybe from another vantage point too is the growth and the proliferation of small companies that make it. They are successful. If you look at R&D approvals over the last several years, most of them are coming from companies that are outside of the large pharmaceutical top 
20 companies, two thirds come from small companies. Oftentimes it's their first drug. The more that happens, the more it starts to carve a path through this kind of uncertain way of getting to a drug to market. That'll create more leaders, more entrepreneurs that know how to build small and take it to the finish line. But it'll also create the kind of knock-on effects for other jobs because these small companies will look to outsource their manufacturing and find suppliers that can meet their needs on a nimble basis. And that can create more growth and sustain this great trajectory that North Carolina is on. I love the fact that we're growing at such a clip uh, in life sciences uh, and catching up on Massachusetts and Texas and California.